For some people, a dare just can't be turned down. Little Charlie was like that. How he got to be eight years old, I'll never know, because he was always doing fool things that other fools fought up for him. One rainy night, we were huddled in the leaky shed that my father had nailed together, and we got to talking about the miser's gold. Little Charlie said, I don't believe that old story. I think he was just a lonely old man, and he didn't have any gold at all. Just to argue, I said, if he didn't have any gold, then why did some people think he did? Because some people are just as dumb as you are, and so are all the people who say his ghost haunts the old house. I don't believe in ghosts, and even if there were any, I wouldn't be afraid of them. Well, what could I say after that? In that case, why don't you just spend the night there and find out? Now, that was all I had to say, and I was sorry I said it. Little Charlie got up. I'll take your dare, but you're coming with me. Now, I don't take dares myself, but Charlie had made it a point of honor, and I do take points of honor. So that night we told our parents we were camping out and headed for the old house. The rain was coming down like it was trying to wash us away, so we were almost glad to get inside that spooky old place. We put our bedrolls on the bare, dusty floor and lay down. All of a sudden, the lantern blew out. Next thing we hear is groans in the next room, then footsteps, heavy footsteps coming closer and closer. The door And standing there in the doorway was an old man with long, stringy hair and burning eyes. He was giving off a strange light, which was why we could see him in the dark. I shut my eyes because I didn't want to see him anymore, but little Charlie spoke up just like he was in the schoolroom. Good evening, sir. Have you come for my gold? The old man whispered. No, sir, little Charlie answered. Then why have you come? We came on a dare. When little Charlie said that, the old man started to giggle. And <laughs> dare? And dare? <laughs> well, that beats anything I ever heard of. Even when I was still alive. I opened my eyes and the sun was streaming in through the places where boards were off the windows. And there was little Charlie with a big bag in his hand. And you know what? That bag was full of gold. We never told a soul how we found the gold. But I will tell you this. After that, I never cared much for points of honor. And little Charlie swore that he'd never take another dare.